I love that God cares about the well-being of our heart. In Proverbs 4.23, it says, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Relationships profoundly affect the well-being of our heart, and it is our responsibility to keep watch of the influence it has on us. The heart feels emotions. In a healthy relationship, we feel love, security, happiness, trust, a sense of belonging. On the contrary, in an unhealthy relationship, we can feel shame, heartache, disappointment, sadness. Every day we feel hundreds of emotions. They are like an indicator light for us on the effect that something or someone is having on us. If we stay in unhealthy relationships, this will eventually disrupt life flowing within us. The word vigilance in the scripture means the action or state of keeping careful watch for possible danger or destruction. Despite the harmful impact on our hearts certain relationships bring, why do we stay in these types of relationships? Well, most of the time, when it comes to relationships, we cling to what we know and what's familiar. We will take a bad relationship over loneliness or missing out. Out. We would rather stick it out and hope the person changes, but in the meantime, we don't realize the effect it's having on us. Recently, I was at a gathering and touching on this subject, someone shared that they were part of a group of people and these people were consistently judgmental and spoke badly about others. And this individual said, I didn't like who I was becoming. You know, most of us don't wake up and think, today I'm going to spend time with my negative friend or the coworker that has a bad influence on me. And so we don't do much about it. We go with the flow. We continue to engage with the same people and allow the negative impact. But is that keeping vigilant watch? As we reflect this week on our relationships and the effect they have on us, I invite you to ask yourself, are there relationships in my life inducing feelings of shame? Perhaps there's certain connections that are not beneficial. Is there someone consistently casting negative judgments or causing distress and I need to part ways with this person? What about situations where someone's actions had inflicted just deep hurt, giving rise to unforgiveness in me. God desires the springs of life to flow from our hearts. You know, what truly excites me that these life-giving springs aren't just for our own benefit. They're meant to bless others. By diligently watching over our own hearts, we can become a source of positive impact to others if we watch ourselves. So let's take the time to allow God to purify our relationships and point out the changes that need to be made so that we can experience blessing and life in all of our relationships.